All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for this is Coach Mike Husson. In today's episode, we're going to talk about you and what is it that you really want in life? What are you not going for because of something, because of an excuse, because of other people, because you don't have money, because you don't have time, because you don't have energy? What is it keeping you from getting what you want out of your life? You know, the most successful people have one thing in common. You all know what that is. I don't have to tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyway because that's what I'm here for in case I need to remind you. What do they have in common? they got a huge desire to want more in life than they currently have. That's the bottom line. I think if we sit back and look at who we are and what we're about and what we want to accomplish in our life, it boils down to what do we really desire? What do we really, really, really want? And not just that in and of itself, but along with desire comes a good reason why. You know, I, mean, I know you've heard this before, and I know it's a part of your makeup and what we've talked about in success, and it's all the books and all the theories that we've heard from all the gurus and everything across the world, and they're all great. And what is it for you? But this is an honest question. What is your desire? Do you want to be where you're currently at? Do you want more out of your life? Do you have a big, big reason for wanting to make a shift? Do you have a big reason for wanting to make a shift? And I believe this, that when we want something greater than what we currently have, we'll do whatever we've got to get at whatever we want. And I really, really believe that. And I know inside of each and every one of you, there's a lot of great potential. Somebody asked me one time, Mike, what, but how do I know what my potential is? All you need to do is look at the guy or the gal in front of you and make a determination that that's what you want. Because really, at the end of the day, Potential is nothing more than somebody else doing that thing that you maybe want or more than you are currently doing. And they have exceeded all levels of opportunity in their life. And that's your potential. It's the person ahead of you. There's always somebody who's going to be better than you. and There's always going to be somebody who's not as good as you. But at the end of the day, we're not worried about them in the future. And we're not worried about other people behind you. What we need to be concerned about is ourselves. Not in an egotistical way, not in a selfish way, but a way that look at the gift that you've got inside of you. And that's why they look at, when you hear the word gift, and you hear the word present, be in the moment of who you are and what you want. Be in that present moment of what it is that you want in your life. So to wrap this up, I want you to think, as I go through these thoughts with you, What is it that you really desire? Come on, think about it. If you could do, if you could be, if you could have anything in your life, what would it be? What does that dream job look like? What does that dream business look like? What does that dream relationship look like? What does that dream body look like? What does that dream ability to communicate publicly like? Let the world know what that is about. Before you let the world know, folks, Let yourself know. Let yourself know. Because if you just let the world know what you want before letting yourself know, it's going to be much more challenging to break through, to put up with what you've got to put up with. Because it's not a walk in the park. Sure, it's simple to say, I want this, I want that, I want to go here, I want to do that, I want to have great relationships, I want to have a successful business, I want to have enormous amounts of money. All of those things are great, and you need to talk about that. However, the process is not easy. And I say that in a way that I want you to understand that you've got to be willing. You have to have the willingness to do whatever it takes to get that desire that you really want. Otherwise, it's going to be frustrating. More than it already is going to be frustrating. It's going to take more energy out of you. So, some thoughts for you today is one obviously we've heard this before and i'm going to say it again here as with most of this stuff is hang around people that are going to pull you up not keep you down sure not everybody even your family is not going to be on your same page and i've got that same experience myself but that doesn't matter just accept what they want in their life and be okay with it not everybody's going to go along with it all i would ask you to ask them is say, listen, I know you may not believe or agree with me, whatever the case is, just know and respect 
respect what I want and allow me to be who I want to be because you don't need that pressure. When you go to the outside world, you need the same exact thing. You need to be around people that are going to be pulling you up. So hang around those folks who have either similar desires or they want more out of their life than they, what they currently have. Two, make a decision that you want to, that you're going to do something now with this desire. Just, it's not simply just having it and a big dream and a big thought and this is the reason why. You've got to now make the decision to do something about it. You've got to make the decision to do something about it. Once you make the decision, step number three is to create a plan. A workable, pliable, flexible plan that allows you to engineer what it is that you really want. It's going to allow you to engineer what you really want. So a simple process is take what you want. As an example, if you want to make a certain amount of money, put a dollar amount on there, quarter of a million dollars a year, then you've made the decision, okay, I want to make the quarter million dollars a year. Now reverse engineer the steps based on whatever you do in your life, your business, your career, whatever it is, reverse engineer that $250,000 into what do I have to do today, day by day, to get me closer to that time frame, or to that uh, to that income. And then you'll have a time frame from which to get there. You could do it in six months, you could do it in 12 months, you can do it in 24 months, you can do it in whatever time that you want. I would always encourage you to do it, put some sense of urgency behind it, so you can get it there quicker than you could probably imagine, and, and it's very achievable. It all depends on what you do, and, and, and the business that you're in, whatever it takes, but at the end of the day, it's all possible. Finally, keep committed to it. Listen, you have the desire, you've made the decision, you've created a plan, you're taking action towards that, and when you get frustrated, and you will, when you get pushed down, and you will, when people say that's not going to ever happen for you, and they will, it is going to be up to you to remain committed to what you decided. I heard years and years and years and years ago that a commitment is something that we keep long after the time we made that original commitment and that feeling that we had in that original moment is long gone. That's really what a commitment is. It's not a bunch of, it's not just a word that we say commitment, I'm committed. Yeah, it is a word, but now we've got to put some emotion and feeling behind it and we've got to remain to it. Yeah, can you change? Of course you can change. Can you adapt? Of course you can adapt. Just be committed to working towards moving and getting better forward every day. Every day is just keeping the process working. Some days you're going to take a couple of steps forward and some days you're going to take a few steps backwards. But eventually it all evens out and you're going to get ahead in this process. So. That's my final point to you is keep committed to whatever it is that you want and what you want to do and what you want to have in your life. Not my life, not your spouse's life. What is it that you want in your life? What do you want it to look like? What design do you want it to be for you? And then when that is together, Imperfect as it might appear now, or as imperfect as you progress in this process here, that it might be, it is you. It's your authentic self. It's your authentic actions. It's your authentic desires for you. Isn't that true? So, go out there, make it happen. Go do something with what we talked about today. Listen to this audio again and again. Come back to it, make some notes on it, and write these thoughts down on a journal, and keep committed to this whole process. If you ever have any questions, have any needs, feel free to reach out to me, mike at mikehusson.com. That's mike at mikehusson, H-U-S-S-O-N.com, and we'll look forward to helping you out anyway. Leave me your thoughts, share some comments, pay this audio forward to somebody else that you want to make a change, help them make a change in their life for I hope this helped you out. I appreciate your time. Now, go out and make today your best day ever. Talk to you soon.